Len Gerdman, former Strictly Come judge dies aged 78. Former Strictly Come dancing judge Len Goodman has died, aged 78, from bone cancer. His agent, Jackie Gill told The Standard on Monday, Len died on Saturday night in a hospice in Kent. He had bone cancer. He was surrounded by his family. He always kept his sense of humor and great dignity. Left double quotation mark. Ms. Gill said Goodman was a much-loved husband, father and grandfather who will be sorely missed by family, friends and all who knew him. Goodman was head judge on Strictly from 2004 until 2016. He also appeared on the US version of the show. Dancing with the Stars, DWTS, from 2005 until 2022. Tributes to the star began pouring in at the news of his passing. Tim Davey, BBC Director General, said, Len Goodman was a wonderful, warm entertainer who was adored by millions. He appealed to all ages and felt like a member of everyone's family. Len was at the very heart of Strictly's success. He will be hugely missed by the public and his many friends and family. Judge Craig Revel Horde wrote, I've just woken up to the sad news that my gorgeous colleague and dear friend Len Goodman has passed away. My heart and love go out to his lovely Sue and family. Len Goody Goodman is what I always called him and it's a 10 from Len and Sevillian will live with me forever. R.I.P. Len. Dan Walker, television presenter who appeared on Strictly, said, So sad to hear about the death of Len Goodman. He was an incredible man and an extraordinary talent. Loved making telly with him. Being doffed with him playing golf with him and will never forget the little tips he would send every week on Strictly. All my love to his family. Broadcast appears Morgan said, more very sad news from the world of entertainment. R.I.P. Len Goldman. 78 welder, dancer, judge, and devoted cricket and West Ham fan. Always had a laugh with Len. And swapped a few strong opinions. A quintessential Londoner and a top bloke. Left double quotation mark. Former contestant, broadcaster Russell Grant, said, The wonderful Len Goodman has left us. He was so kind and lovely to me when I was on at Strictly and we met on other programmes including his own filmed at BBC Glasgow. The word legend is overused but Len and his seven became a catchphrase across UK and USA. A true character. Boxer Frank Bruno wrote, R.I.P. Len Goodman This is a shock he was the man we all thought was indestructible Met him several times he said he would personally give me some dance lessons if I ever got strictly really sad. In November, Goodman announced he was stepping down from his role as head judge on DWTS after more than 15 years with the US show. The English professional dancer said he wanted to spend more time with my grandchildren and family back in the UK. He announced the news during the semi-final episode of DWTS, whilst we're all getting excited and looking forward so much to the finale next week. It will also be with a touch of sadness, as this will be my last season judging on Dancing with the Stars. Double quote. I've been with the show since it started in 2005 and it has been a huge pleasure to be a part of such a wonderful show. But I have decided I'd like to spend more time with my grandchildren and family back in Britain. He added, I cannot thank you enough, the Dancing with the Stars family, it's been such a wonderful experience for me and I'm looking forward so much to next week's finale. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Goodman stepped down as head judge from BBC Strictly Come Dancing in 2016. He appeared on the Strictly panel with Bruno Gennelli. Craig Revel Horwood, and Arlene Phillips, who was was later replaced by Alicia Dixon and then Darcy Bustle. Goodman's final appearance on Strictly was on the 2016 Christmas Day special. He was replaced as head judge by Shirley Ballas. Goodman started dancing at the age of 19 and turned professional, winning various competitions including the British Championships in Blackpool in his late 20s, after which he retired. Goodman is a recipient of the Carl Allen Award in recognition of outstanding contributions to dance. As well as his successful dancing and television career, he is also the owner of the Goodman Academy, a dance school in Dartford, Kent.